The game of blackjack is played with a regular deck of 52 cards, and the best outcome is you're initially dealt two cards, one of them is worth 10 points, and one of them is worth 11 points, that would be the ace, and that adds up to 21. So the cards worth 10 points, they could have a number 10 on them, or they could have a face on them. So what's the probability that you're dealt 21 initially? We want our first card plus our second card to equal 21. So if you get an ace first, there were 52 cards in the deck. There are four aces. The probability of getting an ace is four out of 52. We're going to multiply that by the probability of getting a card worth 10. Now there are only 51 cards left in the deck because your first card was an ace. There are the cards 10, jack, queen, and king. Those are all worth 10 points. That's four cards. And there are four suits that each of those cards are in. So there are 16 cards that you could get for your second card that are worth 10. If you multiply that out, you get 64 divided by 2652, and that equals 0 0.024. Alternatively, you could be dealt your card that's worth 10 first, and then an ace next. So you have another option, and now we said there are 16 cards worth 10, but if it's a brand new deck, there are 52 cards to choose from. And then after you've dealt that first card, your next card is an independent draw, so we could just multiply their probabilities. There are four aces, but now there are only 51 cards left in the deck, and that's going to equal 64 over 2652, that equals 0 0.024. So if you add up these probabilities, you get 0 0.048. Now let's do the same problem with combinations. So this probability is going to be a fraction. And on the bottom of the fraction, we know that we have a deck with 52 cards, and we're only being dealt two cards. So that is the sample space. How many different ways could we arrange these two cards? And what we are looking for is how many combinations of aces. There are four aces, and we only want to draw one of them. And then we want to multiply that by another combination. We have 16 cards that are worth 10, and we only want one of them. So if we work this out, C41 is going to be 4 times C16, one is going to be 16, and we're going to divide by C52, two, which is 1326. That's going to equal 0 0.04. So you can see it's the same thing, but uh, I think this approach is nicer and a little bit more elegant, and you can hopefully here see how these combinations can be used practically.